Good morning, folks. We've got some excellent science news to cover today, including cosmology, solar forcing, and water worlds. We're on watch for space weather impact coming later today, and we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. The sun is fairly quiet at the moment. Solar flaring is in C-class range. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet. We are going to see later today if we get a glancing blow from the northern eruption that occurred on Monday morning. It won't be scary, but could produce aurora if it hits. We are also monitoring these sunspots along with several plasma filaments. This one's morphing around a good bit. Hasn't released any significant flares yet, but the magnetic mixing potential is high if the shifting umbral activity continues today and tomorrow. Let's go to some weather. The major snowfall in Alaska right now is breaking records. It's also collapsing roofs, sinking boats under its weight, and shutting down several aspects of transportation and commerce as the cleanup marches on. We've got a good link to the article on coldweatherreport.com. That's a good site to check, by the way, for all the biggest cold weather news you don't get as much of in the mainstream. Up next, we're at the Milky Way level, where veteran observers are going to get flashbacks to our cosmology discussions from years ago. Yep, turns out the galactic rotation curve isn't what they thought, causing them to begin to question the amount of dark matter in the Milky Way. Spoiler alert, at the end of that road they will eventually discover that amount is zero, here and everywhere else. Good paper up next discussing how the total electron content in the atmosphere is driven and controlled by solar activity. This is important for several aspects of our climate, including ozone levels and the power of the global electric circuit, the up and down flowing electricity touching every part of our atmosphere, which has a direct impact on clouds, precipitation, wind, pressure cells, and surface temperatures. Not too unrelated is this one. I spent a lot of time last year discussing how modest space weather was creating extreme impacts to the Earth's upper atmosphere, far more than expected. We tended to focus on the auroral records that shattered without any major solar storms, and have been suggesting that it's Earth's weakening magnetic field that is letting the Sun take these bigger shots at our planet. Let's add to the list the unexpected severity of the plasma penetration fields all the way down to the equator. Our planetary magnetic defense is weakening. Last but not least, the waters below, here and on other planets. This one takes the concept and puts it on steroids, suggesting that the vast majority of the water goes down deep within the planet and also makes us question how much of the great floods were from rain, from tsunamis, and how much was from the waters below coming forth to the surface. Folks, our online store will soon be a thing of the past. The store at Observer Ranch will take over all product handling when it opens in a couple months. And so if you want our latest book, the easy version of the catastrophe cycle, get it now at the link below. After that, you're going to have to come see us in person. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.